I want to begin, though, with a Conservative radio host who calls the Zimmerman trial a sideshow. Larry Elder is the host of The Larry Elder Show on KABC and also the author of Dear Father, Dear Son, and he joins me now. Larry Elder, welcome to you. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. You've been pretty scathing about my interview with Rachel <laughs> Gentel. Why? I was, because you weren't doing her any favors by condescendingly trying to convince her that she's a victim. This is a young lady uh, who didn't apply herself, a 19-year-old who's still in high school. Instead of saying, young lady, take this as an opportunity to take stock of your life, you treated her like she was a victim. And that's how you're doing this whole thing about race and racism. 7,000 murders last year, Pierce, of black people, almost all of those were committed by black people. Since Trayvon Martin has his unfortunate death, there have been 480 blacks killed in Chicago alone. 75% of those crimes have been unsolved. Where are the cameras? Where are the shows? It's outrageous to act well, as if black America, okay, black America should fear some non-black guy stalking some black kid uh, uh, at night. The likelihood of a black person being killed uh, by, mm -hmm. a, by a non-black person uh, is extremely remote, which is why this became a big national issue in the first place, Pierce. Right. It's perfectly possible, as we have shown on this show many times, to be just as exercised by what is happening in Chicago, which is an absolute national disgrace to America frankly, in terms of the out, outlandish but you're, gun... But you're, but you're not, but you're not, Pierce. No, but I am, There's 7,000 murders last year. I don't think you watched year. my show, half, Larry. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Half of the, half I don't of the think you watched my show. Half of the murders in this country are committed by black people, even though black people are 12% of the population, which means 6% of the population is committing almost half the murders. And you throw out the old people and the young people, Pierce, you're talking about 3% of the population committing almost 50% of the murders. Fine. This is the why commonsensical people Larry, profile. if you just calm down for a moment, Larry. Here's the point I was going to make. I'm, I'm quite I am, calm. I am I'm just bothered by how you're handling all Larry, this. Making black let me dip, speak, Larry. Siege. It's nonsense. It's nonsense. Larry, you're a liberal I can guy, bleeding heart liberal person. You think you're doing something for black people. You're not. You're making black people feel as if they're under siege. And it's not true. It's an outrage. Thank you, Larry. If I could just get a word in, that would be great. Sure. Uh, here's my point. I completely agree with everything you're saying about Chicago. All right, let's just get that on the table. I've been saying this repeatedly on this show. It's a disgrace what's happening in Chicago, particularly with all these young black teenagers killing other young black teenagers. And the president okay, and people let's, down let's... have to deal with it. But let's get back to the Zimmerman trial. Let's get back let's to my interview that. with Rachel Gentel, because you tweeted some ridiculous things. You tweeted at one stage, would I like Rachel Gentel to fly my plane? Why would you I'll say that? I'll tell you why that? I said that, Pierce. I'll tell you why I said that. Because after you interviewed her, you condescendingly went on television the next morning and called her one smart cookie. Mm. Bull. Why don't you hire her as a nanny? Let's see how smart she is. It's a condescending kind of thing you think that she's a lot of stupid, white say to, to black people. I think you're stupid for saying that kind of thing to try to get black that people. That wasn't my question. That race and racism. Do you think racial genitalia is. When it doesn't. Do you racism think she's is not stupid, a major Larry? In America anymore, Pierce. Racism is not a major problem in America anymore. The number one problem facing black people are the large number of black people born outside of wedlock, 75%. In 1960, 5% of all people in this country were born outside of wedlock. Fast forward, Pierce, the number now is 43%. You look at that for crime, dropouts, all that kind of stuff is connected. The other big problem facing black America, Pierce, is the economy. One in two black men does not have a job. And uh, one of the heads of uh, the Congressional Black Caucus once said, if uh, a, a white person were in the White House, we'd be marching on the place because of the high unemployment. But we're talking about Trayvon Martin and George Zimmerman as if it's the number one problem facing black America. It isn't even remotely on the top ten list. Okay, Pierce. Larry. Larry, this isn't a, a sort of competition to see who can be the greatest filibuster in my show's history. I'm not so trying to filibuster. I'm just trying could to just get make back, some common sense let me just I'm not get hearing on your show. Let me just get back to the question I asked you and see if you can actually answer sure. the question. Do you think that Rachel Gentel is stupid? I think that I would rather have a George Zimmerman living in my neighborhood, and maybe if a George Zimmerman were living in my neighborhood, we'd have a few fewer Ario Castros. I thought we wanted people to be proactive. I that thought wasn't we wanted the question, to say Larry. Something, say something. I know I'm answering something different that ought to Could be answered. Could you just answer You're my question? George Zimmerman, like he's some sort of criminal. He's not a criminal. He's George a guy Zimmerman who cares about his neighborhood. Shot dead and he's a guy who cares teenager. about his neighborhood. He's a neighbor. He's a neighborhood watch guy. Don't you want people who are proactive? And there was crime in that neighborhood, Pierce. Mm -hmm. I live in South Central. There Every wasn't crime from. There wasn't crime from Trayvon Martin in that neighborhood. On there. The burglar bars are not on there because of George Zimmerman. They're on there because of the minority of thug in the community that's messing up everybody's image and reputation. This is why people profile. Instead of being angry at George Zimmerman, be angry at the minority right. of the thug who's committing these kinds of crimes. Okay, if I could jump in again. So, just to clarify, sure. though, Trayvon Martin wasn't committing crimes in that neighborhood, was he? 
It was an unfortunate incident. Two people had preconceived notions about each other. Mm. It never should have been happened. Doesn't make George Zimmerman a criminal. I used to work in the DA's office, Pierce. I'm mm. telling you, it was a dog case, a reasonable doubt case. Nobody I know would have filed the case. Yeah, well, we, do, we disagree, obviously, about that. I think it's completely wrong obviously. that George Zimmerman should get no punishment at all for killing an unarmed teenager. He's got serious punishment. He if can't I go could, anywhere. Though... Are you kidding? He's a marked man. What? He's going to be sued civilly. He will never have a moment of peace. He killed somebody. More He's got to deal with that, Pierce. He he recognizes that. He's well, not an he's not a Larry, not if I may, a if I may he respond. He recognizes what he did. If I may respond. Sure. You know, some people would say that he's got it easy compared to Trayvon Martin, who he killed. So much as people feel sorry for George Zimmerman not being able to lead the life perhaps he wished he Pierce, could, it, at, least he, nice lead, have had, have at least he can lead. At least he can lead a life. In your neighborhood. At least he can wouldn't lead it a been life. Nice to have had a George Zimmerman in Cleveland and maybe already. I don't want George Zimmerman doing life. my neighborhood ten, watch patrol. No, ten, I don't. Ten years, I don't. People. I've got three teenage sons, Larry. I don't feel comfortable having somebody like George Zimmerman marching around as no, some live, wannabe no, no, vigilante, no, you live in a very, you live in a armed area, with a gun, potentially killing my kids as they come home from a store with a bag of skittles. Plenty and a of can security. of soda. No, I don't. I don't you feel live, comfortable. You live in a wealthy neighborhood, gated community, plenty of security. You don't have to worry about that. Live in South Central. Come down to South Central sometime. See what's going on down there. They're not worried about George Zimmerman. They're not worried about Mark Furman. They're worried about the thug down the street coming from a, a single parent household. And that situation has been created by the left wing people like you who feel sorry for people and therefore you want government to take care of them. If you think government is the way to happiness and prosperity, go to an Indian reservation sometime and see how they're living. Okay, Larry. Larry. Uh, I do feel sorry for some people, that is true. I wasn't aware that was a terrible offence. But let me get back to Rachel Gentel again, because you it's were very scathing. If you recommend you were scathing. the wrong things to do, Pierce. Larry, let it's, me it's speak, Larry. If you recommend the wrong things to do. If you Larry. tell people, oh, I feel sorry for you. Oh, this person's a bigot. Oh, this person shouldn't have cross-examined you the way he did. Then all you're doing is creating a victim. You're telling Rachel Gentel that she shouldn't have to work hard. She shouldn't have to work on her diction. She shouldn't have to improve her grammar. Just have her wave the flag of victimhood, and she'll be perfectly okay. It is an outrage that the left has done to black people, and you are part of this parade. Thank you, Larry. Just out of interest, how many languages do you speak? I don't speak Ebonics as well as Rachel, if that's what you mean. No, how many languages do you speak was the question. And the relevance of that is what? You don't think she's a smart cookie. She speaks three languages fluently. How many do you speak? Oh, really? You think she's a smart cookie? So yeah. you want to bring it back to Rachel? That's not what we're talking about I here. Think you've been, talking about I want to bring it have, back to Rachel, because that was why I booked like you, Larry. Children, how you treated black people like children to whom the truth cannot be told. Rachel Gentile needs to get her act together. Mm. If my mother were alive, she would say, how dare she speak like that? Do you when know her educational grade, background, the Larry? When I was in the third grade, I know how she presented herself on the jury. Larry, do you and know her educational you, background people or not? Evaluate, people evaluate you the way, based on the way you express yourself. Larry, do you know her educational yourself, background? Credible. So this no, woman, this ni young 19-year-old black woman that you are eviscerating for her lack of intelligence. Do you have any idea about her background? Why don't you hire her if she's so sharp as a co-host, no, That wasn't Pierce. the question, Larry. One smart Do you know you hire her, her educational background? Yes or no? I know, how she, I know how she came across on the jury. That's all that I need to know. That wasn't my question, Larry. Do you know Why anything? Why are we even talking about this? Because Why actually, I think it's relevant. relevant. Let's let talk me, about something. Let's let talk me about enlighten you, Larry. I booked you about, to talk about Rachel Gentile. Let's talk about what's facing black America. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about whether Larry, or not white racism Larry, is a major Larry. problem for black America. It is not. You are implying that it is. It is not. As we speak, there's a guy in prison right now in Phoenix, a black guy in an SUV with his fiance, killed a, a Hispanic who cut in front of him. Larry. He wasn't arrested right away. Had the Hispanic family not agitated, the guy may never have been arrested. Where are the cameras? Larry. Did you have some white guy do something? Thing, or some uh, non-white guy do something to a black person, we want to march on Washington. It Larry, let me just... Peers. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Larry, thank you. If I could just bring you up to speed on Rachel Gentel, this woman that you think is so stupid. Uh, she actually suffered from... I didn't say from, stupid, you did. She actually suffered. We checked this with her lawyer today before I interviewed you, because you, this is why I booked you, of course. Even though you're trying to pretend now this is the last thing you want to talk about, that is why I booked you. Um, Rachel Gentel, when she was young at school, had a lot of time off school and fell behind because of illness. That was why she wasn't able to go to school. She was actually doing very well. She was at B grade at high school until her great friend Trayvon Martin was shot dead by George Zimmerman. Did your she idea, sound, did she your sound idea, to you wait like, a minute, wait a minute, I haven't she finished. She sounded to you like somebody you want to finished. hire in any kind her of grades, capacity? Her grades have since slipped to two something because of the stress that she suffered, understandably from the death of her friend Trayvon. She's now been offered a chance by Tom Joyner and his people from his foundation to go to college, uh, she wants to get those grades back up and make and something of herself. Why would you, 
Why would I think, you? I think that's wonderful, Pierce. Why would you be so scathing about Rachel Gentel and so patronizing to a young woman who's clearly been through an appalling ordeal and who, when I interviewed her, I found to be a smart cookie, like I said. I found her to be fun and warm, engaging, street smart, and clearly from her educational background, nowhere near as stupid as you like to think she is. You, once again, I never used the word stupid. You did. She was the most important witness in a murder trial. It was uh, she was standing between George Zimmerman and 30 years uh, in jail. And for you to act as if she was somehow abused by Don West, whose job was to make sure his client didn't go to jail, is outrageous. And as far as education is concerned, I applaud Mr. Joyner. He's done a lot of work uh, in the black community for education. And I would recommend, Pierce, that we do something about the 50 percent dropout rate in the inner city and about the fact that President Obama opposes uh, allowing parents to use vouchers to get their kids out of bad government schools and into a better school so they can have a possibility to get to the middle class. That's what we ought to be talking about here. Instead of some aberrant situation like George Zimmerman uh, going to uh, uh, somebody that he thinks is suspicious and they have an exchange and there's an unfortunate death as if somehow that's some sort of indictment of America and black people should look over their shoulders every night and act as if some white guy is going to jump out of a, of a bush and get them. It is outrageous. Hard work wins. Get an education. Uh, don't pay attention to negative people and stay focused and you'll be okay in America. That's why most of the people in the world want to come here. That's why you want to come here, Pierce. Thank you, Larry Elder.